back on folks. I've come across that field after going down the track, climbing over a very awkward gate to get over, first of all, one down there. It was slanted at an angle, it was really difficult. I'd take my bag off and everything. Climbed over that, fortunately, you can see this is normally a cow field. Empty, they're, they're probably over there somewhere. Now I'd come down a coom over there near a clay pigeon shoot place. It led me down to a very dangerous road indeed, with huge lorries, absolutely de deadly. So I took a risk, came back up, came down the little track, and then came up, saw a gap here. I saw a gap in the trees, thought that must be a gate, and it was. So I was right up there earlier, but I haven't really lost a great deal of time because I was going to be coming down anyway. I just came down that way and had to cross one field. That's all. Right, let's just put that there a minute. So this is Sheila. Getting ready to hike across the area of outstanding natural beauty on a lower path, which I wanted to do, but from the other direction a couple of months ago, but I went up. I'm always doing diversions, and they lead me into trouble. One big heavy bag. I've had a bit of cheese, and I've had a tomato. I've still got some cheese. I should have brought more than one. I should have brought two tomatoes, really. Um, so, just tighten everything up, after getting over the gates everything's uh, loosened. Sheila's Adventures on the 23rd of August 2019. Hey! hey. I said I would come back on video if anything happened. Well, it has. And it's not, it's not major. It's not a major incident. It's just learning and exploring a different way. But, like I said, this is cow zone. There's cows out there. I've just got to find the right path now. Right, now. I think I'll go that way in a minute. I'm just, um, yeah, I've just got to go around this corner a minute because I'm not quite sure if I've gone far enough down yet. Because <sighs> there's a sign here. I think you go down through there if you want to go to Barrington Coombe where there's shops and stuff and a cafe. I'll be wanting to go this way. Now, uh, earlier, I've come out in the exact spot that I had to come out with, by the way, as well. This was the route I would have come down if I'd done the normal route. But there again, I've explored that area now, so no, not to bother with it. But this is the exact pole I had to get to. And these are the routes. Um, I'm going to take the lower one. Um, I've always wanted to take the middle one, but I'm going to take the lower one because it's uh, quite hot now. And uh, the lower one might offer some shade. So after a slight diversion, After a little bit of anxiety, especially when you don't know where you've never been there before, and you're already on a massive hike in the heat, you don't want to really start doing too many diversions. Because they add up and they consume your water and your energy. I mean, all I learned from that is I won't be doing that again. 
because there was no need to do it, bother. I could have gone in the other field to avoid the big puddle. Right, the path I'm on now would take me on the lower path across the area of outstanding natural beauty with views of Burrington Coombe. There's people ahead, I don't know if they're coming this way or going. Um, hopefully they're going forward but they're going very slowly. They might be picking blackberries by the way. Well, I'm going to turn it off now.